I'm very happy with the team I ended up on, Team Hunter. That's like only one all the way. I didn't initially end up on the team that I wanted, at least before coming into the show. Um, but after talking to the girls and kind of get, getting to know Lauren and B and Ellie a little bit more, I just feel like me and Lauren clicked a little bit more um, than with the other girls. So I'm glad that I got up to be on our team. I'm really excited. All right, boys, welcome to the first group date. Congrats. Hey. Congratulations on making it to round two. Today we're going to be having a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a runway competition. Yay! So we're going to see how goofy you guys can get, get to put you in some uncomfortable situations, see how you react. Just have fun with it. What we're going to do is have you guys go down to TaylorMade right down the street, get your costume, and then when you guys come back, we're going to start the runway competition. So let's get to it. It's true, Lauren did step forward on me, uh, which was interesting because I thought when I talked with her, it was the most mediocre of the conversations I had that first night. But I had met her a couple weeks before, so she kind of was familiar with me and that may have helped. Uh, she's a great girl too, Lauren's a great girl too, but, um, but I'm more interested in Ellie for sure. I'm not interested in Ellie at all. Um, not, I'm B, I mean, maybe, but she seems like a little too much, but we'll see, for me. Ellie didn't step forward for me at the ceremony, but B did, so it's definitely nice to continue on with the show and get another chance maybe. I B is amazing and I'm like I chose her team and I wanted to be on her team. But it was like also hard because I want to get to know Lauren better too. I met Lauren before the show. We were in the same ward. I uh, thought she was super cute and I asked her out. She said no, but we just uh, kept hanging out and eventually we kind of became a thing. And there's always been like a romantic flair ever since then. So we'll see if it continues or it dies, I don't know. But we're on the same show now. It was a difficult choice, but I feel like Ellie and I both had probably a quicker connection than I did with B. And I feel like I got to know her a little bit better than I did B and so I chose her. All right, we want to welcome our celebrity guest judges for today from last season, Annalie Crandall and Annalie Ross. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to judge? Should we so bring ready. the boys out? Bring them. Right, boys, let's boys, do it. Boys, boys, boys. I'll be your honey. Woo! with the team that I'm on and I'm feeling comfortable uh, not only are they like you know B the guys are cool but like also B is the only one I'm interested in Pro at all probably yeah at all I don't think I made as big of an impression on the girls as some of the other guys because there's some pretty interesting characters out there, but I think I did pretty well. Even those heels. Oh, oh, oh. This is my 
Yeah, yeah. You need a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Straight out of the wild, they love it. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Do you want to go on the jungle? I was really nervous and uncomfortable going into it because I've never done anything like that in my entire life. I never would have thought to do that in my own volition, but like, I'm glad that we did that. It was a lot of fun. Oh my God. What is he gonna do? No. Oh! Oh! Too awkward. I thought it was just fun. Just try to be myself, do what I'd normally do in normal clothes. So, yeah, definitely got my eyes set on Lauren right now. So. I did not feel awkward on the runway, really. I, I felt like, if anything, that I could have done better, could have done more, but it was good. I thought it was awesome. I actually, I just, I was hoping she really knew who I was, because not many people know Legend of Zelda. You know, Lauren jokingly asked, said, oh, are, are you Peter Pan? And she was joking, but maybe Ellie really thought that. Or what I'm looking at. Oh, is this spot? I I don't really feel awkward at all. Honestly, I went there, I was ready to get my gun, and I was ready to give that key and not give it to any of the, uh, the, uh, any of the other dudes because they don't deserve it. I do. <laughs> They're gonna just edit it so it doesn't show that we like locked it up. <laughs> it's gonna look like we're just idiots. Oh. I thought it was pretty good. I think uh, my walk up in the Darth Vader costume didn't quite go as planned. It kind of all fell apart once I got up to the table. But uh, I think it was still still fun, still entertaining. I still had a good time. I will, no, I will only oh, yes! oh, 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 Honestly, the so fun. Loved every second of it. Oh no, I did not feel awkward. I felt surprisingly comfortable. Maybe a little bit too comfortable. I've never done that before, but I can't lie, I may do it again. I think 
everybody had a lot of fun, and uh, it was fun finding an outfit, you know, putting it on, getting the other guys to change, coming over here, getting a lot of looks from everybody, and uh, but mostly, you know, doing the runway with the girls. Oh, oh my God! Is this legal? What? This is legal. Tell me, princess, when did you last? Let your heart decide. No, no. Okay, well, okay, good, 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 we're fine. Points for the flip. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. The hair flip. Loved it. Oh, you trust me. A new fantastic point of view. Amazing. That was freaking awesome seeing all the guys. I feel like it was an opportunity for the guys to get out of their shells. I'm always out of my shell, so that was fine. Uh, but yeah, it went really well. Where? Oh my god. Our jungle boys right here. Woo! The jungle boys. Yeah! Woo! You know, I felt like uh, I could be myself uh, under the Winnie the Pooh outfit, and I could just kind of be silly. And uh, B's a silly Billy, and so I was a silly Billy out there, so. Honestly, I just think the girls saw a side of me I just, I don't normally show to people, you know, like, the part of me that wears a tutu. I think it was pretty good. I was the sheriff, and I think I stole her heart for sure. I told them about this thing. I gotta tell you, the friendship bracelets, they thought was the... The cutest? They thought it was the best thing in the world. Oh, they good! Like, they were... <laughs> she went with what they said, actually. Yeah, what? It's like, if you don't marry that girl, we'll beat you up. <laughs> oh my God. They thought that was the sweetest thing they've ever seen. Oh, so, good. good. I think my biggest rival... I'd say the dentist. He's from Canada. The reason I dressed up like uh, Winnie the Pooh is because uh, I feel to impress B or to impress any anybody else, I can just show my personality and I don't need to show my skin. So there are a lot of shirtless guys out there and they can go ahead and they can own that and that's fine, um, but I feel like I'll let my personality do the talking, so. Yes, I think they tried too hard. Um, there are some of them, they just went a little bit over the top. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think my biggest rival right now is Tyler. Just because today he was he dressed up as the pharaoh, and so he just had this like little little necklace thing. So he's showing full chest and just showing all his muscles off. And I think that's it's a little bit intimidating. Oh no, you have like falling. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, and my mom said you know the girl's the one when you can just have the best time ever just <laughs> going to the grocery store. I love that. Because like, it doesn't yes. have to be something grand desk and something like that. Like, fashion shows are great too, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. great, but um, <laughs> when you're best friends, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. You're just happy. So. Oh. oh gosh, that was so bad. <laughs> ah! 
So one of the, one of, the, so actually Ellie, she she said, okay, I bet that none of you will jump into that pool over there. And so Scott, he rolled his, he had his shorts on, so he just jumped in, and and then someone else was like, no, someone should jump in all the way. Like someone should just dive in. And so I was like, Ellie, should I do it? And she said, yeah, jump in. And so I did. It was a little bit scary because there was lightning going on at the same time, but totally worth it. Cool, thanks. I thought it was so funny. The guys just owned it. Awesome, awesome job. I am so proud of my team. I think they can. I, I'm going to be shook if we don't win. I think they're going to win. Um, it was not what I was expecting, but I don't really know what I was expecting. It was something else. It was, it was fun. You gentlemen did a good job. We have discussed as judges and we've come to a conclusion. Today we saw a lot of personality and we saw a lot of skin and we're not that mad about it. <laughs> Some of you were very committed, but you all brought your A game. So the winner is Team B. Well done. Every day we win. That's all we do. Yes. Oh, I'm so hyped that we won because now we get to be the first group that goes on an actual date with her. So I get to know her like sooner than the rest of the guys get to know their girls. I don't know. So it just seems really good. Yeah, I'm excited to be on the B team. Mm. That's why I wrote it on my chest. BT! Yeah. <laughs> Am I bummed out that we lost? Not really. This isn't my type of thing. I do hate losing, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, it was almost a good thing. Now I'm a little more, a little more mad, a little ready to get out there and win the next competition. I feel like it went pretty well. I feel like this little piggy should have won. Um, so, just a little bit bitter about that, but it's fine, you know. We, we chug along. Honestly, I was super impressed. A lot of the boys are super touchy, which is something that we did not have on my season, but it was super fun to see, and they're so comfortable, and they're just, I feel like they're really being themselves and putting themselves out there, so it was super fun to watch. It was a lot of fun, to be honest. You know, it was really interesting to see all the guys just be, like, so comfortable with who they are and what they're doing. The guys definitely have a lot of personality. <laughs> yeah, Colin's got a little less, but you know, it's okay. It's <laughs> You know, it was really weird being back on set, not gonna lie. It's a lot of like deja vu and flashbacks, but I kind of miss it to be honest. I miss being on set. It was good times, got a lot of memories made. Hey guys, it's Beef, it's Ellie, it's Lauren from Provo's Most Eligible. We are raising money for Hope Humanitarian, which is a nonprofit organization. Hope Humanitarian provides shoes, warm winter clothing, firewood, food, and lots of other necessities to refugees who are displaced right now. If you're looking for a way to get involved, you can donate, donate, donate now, and help those refugees this winter who really need it. There's your boys. There they are. There's my boys. I originally had a match with Ellie, and honestly, I still want to get to know her, but B, it just seemed like we were later over so many other things that, to me, it was just, I was like, you know, it'll be, it'll be fun to be on our team. Um, so I didn't really get to know her that much because we only talked for a little bit at the very end, but I'm really excited to get to know her more. All right, so congratulations on winning the very first team date of the season. You all know that being on Team B, B is 100% herself. She's confident, and so that's what she's looking for in a guy as well. So today, we're gonna do some things that are gonna get you outside of your comfort zone a little bit, and we're gonna get a little bit weird. All right, so let's get to it then. Woo -hoo! Let's do it! Let's do it! Yes. So I got this pin, because I was like, Queen B, she needs a little bit of merch to like go along with it found it. It's this like vintage B pin. I gave one to her, gave what? I have one for myself. And there are BFF pins. I feel like she's just very out outgoing. Like she's She's a kind of like she's not afraid to try anything, you know. She can relate to people really well, and I really like that because, I mean, I try to be the same way. She's amazing. Like she literally is the most bubbly, most lively, 
funny person. So I'm pretty pretty happy that I got into I ended up on my team. So. We didn't get a lot of time last time, and so like it's nice that it's like a team date today, you know. I will have fun, but I also like want to get to know some more deeper questions, you know, like what are you looking for in a relationship? I don't know, something like that. So, B, what's your weirdest hobby, or what other people consider weird? If you were to get a tattoo, what would it be, and where would it be? What, what are some experiences that you've had, like with Provo Boys? Like what? What's kind of been the beef that you've had? The last episode, or last, you know few days ago it was just a lot of people interrupting other people you had in the back of your head this conversation is gonna only last two minutes and so it didn't seem very natural I, I just want to get to know she seems like uh, we can have a good laugh and so I probably that I, I just want to like you know goof around and, and laugh with her for a little bit Tonight, I think like the number one thing is like get to know B better. Like get to know like what she likes to do, what she wants to do in the future, who she is, and then number two, separate myself from the other guys. Oh man, B is so cool. I love B. Yeah, she's just so crazy, so outgoing, super cool. She's always doing something funny to watch. We just get along really well. All right, one, two, three. Go, Jesus. I do love him. I kind of look like. Got him. Uh, <laughs> uh... Dude, I'm a smash. So I can't I even, even look at you. I can't even hear you, bro. Yeah, dude. Come on, dude. Throw you into that pool over there. I want to see you try, fatty. Let's go. 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 Yeah, there's some great guys on my team, so it's definitely going to be a stiff competition today, but I'll do my best. I'm just going to compete, just do my best, be myself. I mean, what else can I do? You know, there's really nothing else. Like, she's going to pick the guy that she's more comfortable with, and so, yeah. They look like Greek gods, and I'm like, Buddha over here just like chilling anyway so yeah should be fun so Walker beat me, 2-0, can't argue with that. I'm mad at Walker because he came in and stole my thing. He shows up with a fanny pack today, fanny pack was my thing. I mean, everybody saw it first night, then he wears the fanny pack, that's, that's a low move. Yeah, how do you start Winner, it? winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Let's go get him. <laughs> oh, he's still getting him. No, okay, so I was going to wear it anyways, I promise, but he wore it first, so it does look like I copied him. Okay. But I wear that fanny pack anywhere. Like, if you see me in public, I'll have it on. Let's go! Think you can take him? Of course. Who wants him? All right, Josue versus Eric. You ready? Set, go! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! oh. Ready?
I mean, I may have lost, uh, may have lost the battle, but the war is not over for. Her. The meme accounts square off. <laughs> oh yeah, trouble. Try not to be culturally insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, safety first. All right, boys, are you ready? Yes. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> on, go All right, three, two, one, go! It was good. I think I did everything I could have possibly have done. Uh, we were talking before, and I, I think if it were real sumo wrestling, we'd be in different classes. But I got one. I got one out of the three. Uh, no, no, I have the better meme account out of Daniel and I. I mean, I don't want to get all mathematical, but I would just put the numbers together and then figure out like who has more and then. Whoever wins this is going to face Daniel in the finals. <laughs> All right, on your line, on your marks. Get set, go. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. oh wow. All right, on your mark. Get set, go. Oh, oh. 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 he wants it. Yeah, oh, my boy. This one's to go to the finals. For baby. B. Thank you. All right, on your mark. Get set. Go. Oh. 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 I don't know. I don't know. That was too close. That was me. Right. And Walker is going to the championship. I think I need something for good luck. Whoa. Oh. All right. What do you think is the strategy? He's, he's got a little bit of a little bit of height. Yeah. He's got the crazy look in his eyes. On your mark. Get set. No, definitely win. <laughs> All right, on your mark. Get set. Fight. Oh! 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 We were really good, you know. I'm proud of my performance. It's all right. I'd beat him in a real wrestling match, for sure. I mean, it's whatever. All right, all right. I was the first one to get a kiss on the cheek from B, so that was good. Oh. <laughs> Went really well. Uh, as the only fat guy in the competition, I didn't want to disappoint my fellow fat brothers. You know, sumo wrestling is our forte, so. All right, right foot yellow. Oh, left foot red. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Left foot blue. If 
he loses. <laughs> <laughs> right on you. If you fall, <laughs> my face is going straight into the paint. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Yes, I feel safe with the next round. I feel like B and I have a really strong connection. But we made on like since day one, like we were just like connected. Uh, it's going good. I actually think like B looks really cute right now. So uh, it, amazingly enough, I think I'm more attracted to her today than the other day because sometimes like the formality like throws me off. But today she's just kind of like you know hair down, uh, and she looks great. Like she yeah. So I think I might be more attracted to her today. But. I think she's the most fun out of all the girls. And uh, so I'm just excited to have some fun like with her. But then I, f I feel as though she, she is like mature. So she's been, she's been w through it. And so uh, I think she knows what she's doing. Smart girl. I actually just road trip there like a couple months ago. Okay. Uh, I think I'm B's favorite, uh, but obviously I'm in my own head, so of course that's how I'm going to interpret everything. Everybody, I was just like a late bloomer and it's fine. <laughs> so you're like ready to get married. Yeah, like I mean, if I find that person. My biggest rival has to be Jake. I mean, you know, he's calling me out on having a fanny pack as well. So we're the fanny pack bros, you know? She's also super cuddly to Daniel, but then she's always up in Keaton's face. So, I don't know. I really don't know who's her favorite. I have a little bit of thing against Walker, you know? because he beat me in the sumo wrestling match, but we'll get him. We'll get him back sometime. I mean, I think I have a chance. I think I have a pretty good chance, so. Anything but yes on camera, but like. Of course. What's, what's it been like? It's been really, like, really stressful, but really fun. What's been stressful about it? Just like the long hours, just like worrying about like everything. I think she really likes Daniel. He's really funny, really sweet, so I think she's falling for him. Like I came in with the goal of just trying to see like more of B and understand like what her nature is. And it was really cool to just see her like in her element, just doing her own thing, having fun with it. So I don't know. I think she likes different guys for different things. I've heard through the grapevine that she might have told Keaton that he was her favorite. Yes. Mm. So like I heard that at a flower ceremony, she whispered in her ear, you're my favorite. <sighs> Scandal. I think for now, definitely not. I'm definitely not safe. I don't feel safe about anything. <laughs> anything at all. <laughs> hey! Are you ready? Look at the camera ready. I am impressed with the boys. Some of them tried pretty hard in the sumo, and that was nice, and that was fun. And, and I think it was maybe kind of out of their comfort zone, and they were definitely out of their, some of them were out of their comfort zone yesterday with the runway. and. And I'm just like grateful and proud that they're trying, you know. Would I kiss any of them? Yeah. I would kiss one of them, two of them, three of them. I'd kiss some of them. There's one in particular, but we'll see. Don't want to say anything yet. Get some yoga. <laughs> you know, I've done some yoga on my mission, some P90X yoga, so I consider myself a little bit of a yoga expert, but not with goats. It's a whole nother level. I 
I used to do yoga every Thursday at seven o'clock at UVU, all time favorite activity. So this has always been on my bucket list. I was kind of surprised when she asked me on this date. You know, I thought, oh, Keaton had it for sure. You know, he's the basic Provo bro of Provo. So who wouldn't want that? But I guess I was wrong. Jake Nielsen, he's got too many shoes, man. Like, no girl wants to be outnumbered. Like, no girl wants to be like, hey, how many shoes do you have? Oh, you have way more than me? Oops, like, you know. Um, Eric, he's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm surprised he, she didn't ask Eric. And so it just came down to me, I guess. When Lauren picked me, I was like super excited. Um, I was super happy she picked me, especially for goat yoga. I felt like that was a good activity. I talked to her before this, and she said she used to do yoga like twice a week too. So, I, I, great activity for the both of us. I was pretty, I was shocked that she picked me, to be honest. I didn't think she would. Um, Matthew, I thought she was gonna pick Matthew. It seemed like her and Matthew got along well. Oh, I think I'm absolutely a favorite, or else I wouldn't be here, you know, doing this year, goat yoga, like cute baby goats. Just brings out the cuteness and everything. Yeah, B is definitely cute. She's so fun. We're just having fun in there, and you know, I had to come up for this interview and be interrupted, but oh well, less time with her, but all right, I'll make it up somewhere else. Go. Right here? Yeah, and then you slip her up. Go. Okay, ready, ready, ready? No, I'll jump, I'll jump. I'll jump. Just, yeah, I'll jump. Ready? Ah! <laughs> you have to jump? Okay. Does that hurt? And then you have to straighten your body. Straight. There, yeah. Straight. And you're like, That's straight. literally as straight as I can get off the Oh, you had it, you had it. I feel totally like I'm had it. killing you. No, it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah. We can fit another person. Oh, cute. Yes. Oh, okay. Yo. Yeah. 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 Now strong. <laughs> 